Hello, I'm Andrew and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about some of the butterflies that you can see in your garden or your locality in the next month or so. But first of all, let's think about what a butterfly is. A butterfly is an insect, so it's in the same group of creatures as beetles, ants, wasps and flies and so on. But within that group it belongs to a smaller group called Lepidoptera and that means scaled wings because the wings are covered in scales. Now to us they look like dust but in fact they are laid in a roof-like structure and it's that that makes the characteristic pattern that you see on the wings of butterflies and the closely related group moths. But first of all let's look at the different stages that the butterfly goes through in its life. And I'd like to do that by using the first of our spring butterflies to, and this is the orange tip which only flies really during April and May and possibly into early June. It starts off as an egg laid on a food plant that hatches after a while and out emerges a very very small caterpillar. The caterpillar eats and eats and grows and grows but the skin can't expand so four or five times in its life it has to shed that skin and emerge as a new caterpillar which might be a different colour, a different shape, have different characteristics to its earlier form. After a while the caterpillar is fully grown and it turns into a chrysalis. This is a structure with a hard cover often attached to a, a hard surface such as a tree or a wall or something like that and within that the miracle change occurs and the caterpillar turns into a butterfly with its wings, legs, antennae and so on. The brimstone. This spends the winter as an adult often hiding in things like clumps of ivy. The males are bright yellow, the female are much paler, creamy green yellow. Flies from mid-March right through into the summer and can often be seen searching for its, its food plants, the common and older buckthorn, which are quite widely distributed but very difficult to find. Next we have the only blue butterfly to be seen in April and that's the holly blue. It's found around holly and ivy bushes and often more common in urban areas and gardens than it is in the wider countryside. The comma is another species that hibernates over winter. The comma mark is actually a white mark on the very dark underwings. Its caterpillar resembles a bird dropping and it's obviously a defensive thing to try and prevent birds from eating it and it forms a chrysalis often hanging from a food plant such as nettle, elm or hops. Next we have the small tortoiseshell which to many people is the garden butterfly. It spends the winter as an adult often hibernating in sheds and attics and comes out generally mid-March and can then be found flying throughout the summer and into the autumn in the number of generations. The caterpillar on stinging nettles though not odd ones found in gardens but often in large patches such as in agricultural fields where a lot of nitrogen has been applied to the soil. You'll note that sometimes butterflies can get confused and here we have a male small tortoiseshell trying to display to a female comma. Why this happens we're not really sure but they are obviously closely related and the pheromones which they give out must be very similar chemically. The peacock is another species that spends the winter as an adult, again often in attics, and sheds and so on, and is one of the few butterflies that can make a noise that is disturbed while it is doing this hibernating as the video shows. It's common in gardens and seems particularly fond of uh, fruit blossom, blackthorn blossom, as well as lots of other plants and flowers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and learnt something new about butterflies.